A free body diagram shows the direction and magnitude of all the forces acting on an object. On this object, there are four forces acting in four directions. Remember that a vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction. And we can represent vectors as arrows. So here we can use arrows to show our force vectors. So what are some common forces we might see in a free body diagram? Well, free body diagrams can be used to describe the different forces acting on an object. A good example is a car, which has many common forces acting on it. Weight will always be pulling the object downwards, and weight is the force experienced by mass due to gravity. So weight and gravity pull the object towards the Earth. So on the free body diagram, the direction of weight is downwards. If the object is on a surface, then there will also be a normal contact force. The normal contact force stops an object moving through the surface and acts at right angles to the surface. So on the free body diagram, the normal contact force is directed upwards, away from the surface. And the contact force is equal in magnitude to the total downward force. An engine can propel an object forward with a driving force. The driving force does work to convert chemical energy to kinetic energy in the engine of the car. So on the free body diagram, the driving force is directed forwards. Friction and drag will act opposite to the direction of motion. Remember that friction and drag are the resistance to motion due to collisions with air particles and also surfaces sliding past each other which aren't completely smooth. Friction and drag can be seen on the free body diagram in the opposite direction to the driving force. So these forces are always in the opposite direction to the object's motion. You may be asked to label the forces on a free body diagram, so you should understand the common directions of these forces for your exams. So how can we describe the overall effect of these forces? Well, the free body diagram can be used to show the resultant force on the object. The weight and normal constant forces cancel each other out as they have the same magnitude but in opposite directions. So the forces in this axis are balanced. The resultant force is therefore to the right, as vertically the car is balanced, but the driving force to the right is larger than the friction which opposes it. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.